fashion friends, Judy Joanno here from Almont, Ontario in my shop. And I'm going to show you the beginning of the fall collection for 2021. Starting with this beautiful scarf from Dolceza. They work with international artists transposing uh, paintings onto fabric. And this piece is called Still Life and it's by Paul Ladon and he is a Belgian artist. And I paired the scarf with this great fall coat from Leopards and Roses, which is based in Vancouver. What I love about this coat is how it feels it's cozy because it's a nice fleece inside and then you have the fleece on the side seams and the sleeves. And then they've given the fleece jacket a little bit of an upscale look by putting this shiny quilting or not too shiny, but it's like a polyester fabric, like a coating material in the front and the back. And they also have the seams, which gives it elongated look. And that is also carried through in this interesting placket, which features phone buttons. Now the collar is a contrast print cotton fabric in chartreuse brick and gray. And they've just added that same print in two little bands on the one sleeve. There are pockets and they're lined in fleece, so it's really cozy. But this has just a nice line to it, three quarter length. But I felt it was just so much black that it just needed this punch of color, just worn straight down to finish off the look. Now you've got a Velcro at the top and bottom and then a zipper to close it. And underneath is my favorite brand from Paris, Leo and Hugo, in one of my favorite patterns, the leopard print. This is a classic, but I know it's a love-hate pattern. What I liked about this one was they've used a bit of Lurex yarn in here, which gives it just a hint of shimmer. Nice V-neck. And I've paired it with uh, some nice trousers. They're a crop length, but on me, they're a full length and beautiful, soft fabric, easy care, easy wear. And uh, these are by uh, Liverpool. Now, with pants, there's a pant for every body type, and not every pant is going to fit everyone. This particular style has a size uh, zipper, pockets, uh, belt loops and for me with I have fuller lower half it was just the right cut but if you come into the shop we can try on some different pants and hopefully find one that's perfect for you hi everybody when I do these videos I like to show you some options on how to wear clothes because if you were to see this beautiful sweater by Leo and Hugo Paris on the rack it's black and it's got sparkles in the sleeve you would say oh it's dressy how often will i wear it but i thought it would be great with a pair of jeans and uh, so my thought is pair it with your favorite pair of jeans these are a pair that uh, i've had from gg collection montreal for a couple of years and i put it with my gold and black tie brogues and um, just added a necklace from this season that we carry in the shop. And this way you can take that dressy sweater and make it a more casual, but still really upscale look. So you might want to think about how you can take that jeans and sweater look this season and sort of up your game. And this might be the piece to do it with because it really is a classic. You've got this mock neck and look at that it's a bronze sparkle they're actually heat set on here it's not a sequin it's a these are tiny tiny crystals so it's quite elegant and while it has a shimmer it's more understated than if it was a bright silver or bright gold just a really nice fitting black sweater but it just has that extra detail that we know and love from Leo and Hugo Paris. Wow.
black and white lovers this one's from you the zip cardigan is by marble of scotland and they added that black and white print and animal motifs with that sort of tiger white tiger and the leopard spots it is a zip front you can wear it as a cardigan i'm just wearing it as a sweater on its own and just to give a little v-neck effect i just unzipped it a little bit i paired it with these athleisure very fancy athleisure pants by dolceza they're the most comfortable full waist comes up to your waist pant it's made of a really nice double knit and they've added great creative minds never sleep and that's in some raised printing in gray and a few crystals. Also on this pant is a faux leather side seams, sort of a racing stripe. Now, when people see these pants in the store, they wonder, well, what else can I wear with them? And I really like the look of something black and white, and I'm gonna be showing you something else uh, next by Marble of, of, of Leo and Hugo that'll work with these same pants too. This fun sweater is by Leo and Hugo Paris, and I've accessorized it with this little red snakeskin faux, uh, faux fur scarf, just to give a little color up near the neck. And it picks up on the red in her glasses and lips and hair bow. Uh, when I got these sweaters, I thought they'd be perfect for fall weddings. A lot of you are coming in looking for dresses. Well, in the fall, you never know what the weather is going to be. So I thought maybe a beautiful sweater, a nice pair of black slacks or palazzo pants, or maybe a long black skirt and a pretty sweater might be a good option. Now, where else and how else can you wear such a dressy sweater? I paired it with that athleisure pant by Dolceza again. And it's an upscale look at athleisure with the sparkles, but there's no reason why a girl can't wear sequins by day. Now I just want to take this scarf off just so you can see the neckline. They've done a little black banding just around the neck. And you also see that on the sleeves and the polka dots there, picking up on the polka dots of her dress. And then just to fill in the neck, I have this black graphic neck. If you were lucky enough last year to get a pair of these culottes with the uh, big red pocket, this is an update to what you can pair with it this year. The Grand Dame sweater is by Leo and Hugo, and black, white, and red is always classic. It's a nice medium weight sweater knit, so you could really wear this year round. White jeans in the summertime and for fall winter with black. Pair it with a pair of your own black jeans for a more dress down look or wear it out to a wedding with a beautiful black skirt or palazzo pants. Now I've added just the jet necklace and a cute little bracelet with crystals, pearls, and leather just to finish off the look. The shawl I'm wearing is part of the gallery collection and it's a nice cozy weight and it's double faced. So you get the art print on the front and on the back, a solid color. In this case, sort of a mustard gold. This is an interpretation of Clint's piece, The Tree of Life. And I say it's an interpretation because the original had a gold, mustard goldy background um, and the tree of life was also in the gold tones. So uh, this way it's been interpreted in off whites and oranges, a little more playful actually. And I thought it would be great with winter coats too. You can wear it as a wrap, but you can also just bunch it up, just double it around, so it'll keep you nice and warm underneath the coat come winter. Now the piece I'm wearing under it is a cotton top. This is by Leopards and Roses. 
They are a Vancouver-based mother and daughter design team, and they go to Nepal to have their pieces made. And they've been working there for years. And Anne, the owner, has established an education fund whereby she donates part of uh, the profits of her company to this fund to help educate children whose parents work in the factories that make her clothing and accessories. So this top is a nice tunic length, perfect if you want to wear it with a legging, it covers all those parts. It has a bit of an A-line silhouette and the pattern on it is not printed, it's all embroidered. This is cruel, cruel work embroidery, which is a pretty traditional style embroidery from that part of the world. And I love the bright colors and hot pinks and orange. I thought it was nice and a ch nice change from the colorations you see in fall. And just added this black choker to finish off the neck. Our art to wear vests have been so popular in the store this season. And this one by Claire Desjardins just came in. It is called Work It Out. And Claire told me that this was based on a painting she did many years ago when she was changing the style and the look of her paintings. And so when she came up with this sort of new freeform look with all the bold colors, she called it Work It Out. Now it's Claire Desjardins designers, the fashion designers have put it into this interesting vest. It's got rib on the sides, a rib knit, which adds a little bit of stretch to it. And then they've added the rib in the collar, which feels nice against the skin. You've got princess seaming, which gives it shape in the front and back, and some nice zip pockets. I love all the bright colors in here. I paired it with an indigo blue, but you've got pinks and purples and several shades of green, royal blue, aqua. There's so many colors you could work this with. And it's a light enough weight that come winter, put it with a lighter sweater and you would get you can wear it inside, but for fall, it's a good outerwear piece. Underneath, by Carrie Noir, I have this indigo sweater, which I love with jeans, and it's a chenille knit, but the back is where most of the interest is. It's got that cute lacing detail all the way back, and the other thing is the sleeves. Notice it's sort of a, a bell sleeve with a cuff, and that's sort of a new look that they're showing this season. Now I wanted to break up all the blue from the indigo jeans and the top with this necklace. It has a lighter cord and different shades of blue. And the next thing you could do is a scarf. This one's by Dolcezza. And the trick to tying a Dolcezza scarf is this. Simple, grab it by a point. It makes the yarns go on an angle which drapes better. You do a double wrap out the points and you're done. The more you fuss with the scarf, the more frustrated you'll be and the worse it'll look. On the bottom, I'm wearing a pair of jeans by Gigi. It's a Montreal company. I find that brand fits my body type best. I have a pear shape, more hip and thigh, and uh, it's just a pull on style, but just fits really nicely and uh, is quite comfortable. I love this hoodie. The artwork on it is by a Belgian artist who does pet portraits. This one, little dog's name is Mia, and the brand of the, or the artist brand is called Artie Dog. Now, Dolcezza has partnered with Romina de Gregorio from Belgium and is using her painting on this cute hoodie. They've put in the print on the hood the words fun all over it. They've even used this neon green color for the pull, added gray stitching just for a little more detail. The back is plain, just plain black, and all the interest is in the front. It's kind of like that when Andy Warhol did those portraits of famous people with all the neon colors. I feel like it's sort of that style of art. Just fun to wear, and this fabric's light viscose, 
You can wear it layered as I have with one of my Judy Joanno tees, but you can wear it on its own and just zip it up and wear it like a top.